James Charles has made a return to social media only to slam his ex-employee's lawsuit. David Dobrik's assistant claps back at TikTok hate comments, and Seth Rogen says that he has no plans of ever working with James Franco again. That's right, folks. We have ourselves a triple header news story for you all today, jam-packed. And if you're ready to be overloaded with information, make sure you tap that like button to show some love to the channel. Now, without any further delay, let's get right to it. So first things first, let's start with Seth Rogen essentially blacklisting James Franco from Hollywood. Following the multiple allegations of misconduct that have been levied against James Franco, it seems as though the long lasting friendship between him and Seth has fallen apart. During an interview with the Sunday Times, Seth Rogen retracted his previous comments where he said that he would still work with Franco. He's quoted as saying, The truth is that I have not and I do not plan to right now, adding that it was not a coincidence that because they're not working together, it has also hurt their personal friendship. I don't know if I can define that right now during this interview. I can say it has changed many things in our relationship and our dynamic. For those of you who don't know, in January of 2016, the LA Times published a report that five women had accused Franco of inappropriate and exploitative behavior for which Franco has vehemently denied. Then a year later, he was sued by two of his students at his acting school who claimed that he and his business partners even had acted in a similar predatory way. Franco denied again and a settlement was then reached in February. Seth Rogen, looking to absolve himself from any association with this behavior, would later say during the interview, What I can say is that I despise abuse and harassment and I would never cover or conceal the actions of someone doing it or knowingly put someone in a situation where they were around someone like that, adding, However, I do look back at a joke I made on Saturday Night Live in 2014, and I very much regret making that joke. It was a terrible joke, honestly. The joke he's speaking about took place when Rogan hosted Saturday Night Live and made light of the 2014 allegations that a year old had made against James Franco. She said that James Franco, who was 35 at the time, had sent her direct messages to meet up with him at a hotel. As Seth spoke about that on the SNL stage, Franco then walked out and said, great prank, I've been waiting at the Ace Hotel for three days, which is just a really bizarre way to try and cover up some very serious allegations. For now though, it seems like James may have a difficult time working in Hollywood with one of his closest friends being the first to publicly cut ties with him. In other news, David Dobrik's assistant Natalie has been feuding with people on TikTok over her association with the problem. YouTuber. Over the last few months, David Dobrik has been met with a wave of backlash after a ton of allegations came to light. These range from inappropriate behavior from members of his vlog squad to putting his best friend's life at risk for a video. In turn, multiple companies dropped him and YouTube even demonetized his channels. For Natalie though, she has been under a lot of scrutiny because of how incredibly close she is with David. She's not only a lifelong friend and his assistant, but she's also dating fellow vlog squad member Toddy Hall. Despite her posting content that has absolutely nothing to do with David though, she's still getting hate comments regarding his his actions. On a video of Natalie showing off her outfits from a wardrobe, several comments attacked her for David Dobrik's actions. One comment said, Funny how you get to play dress up as Jeff Lays in pain from an accident you probably helped approve. And instead of just letting the comments keep rolling and trolling her, she decided to clap back. Natalie commented, Yo, some of y'all need to chill. Dave's still my best friend. Sorry you missed that in the 10 second TikTok I made in my friggin' closet this morning. The question after a public figure gets held accountable for their actions is always how long do you think it will be before they try to come back? Well, with David's assistant still getting getting hate comments on her TikToks, I don't think people are going to let this go anytime soon. And speaking of canceled celebrities returning to social media, let's talk about James Charles breaking his silence to rip into one of his ex-employees. The only other YouTuber that people are more mad at right now, really, than David Dobrik has to be James Charles. And boy, oh boy, has he fallen hard since taking responsibility for the multiple allegations of citing that the reason he spoke with rage people was due to his desperation. However, after his former employee Kelly Rockline sued him for wrongful termination and poor treatment, among many other accusations, James Charles posted a seven-minute video to Twitter saying that he feels like he's being blackmailed now. For those of you who are not aware, for the last two years I've been dealing with an ongoing lawsuit from one of my previous employees. This is something I've never spoken about and never mentioned out of respect for her and the fact that it's literally an ongoing litigation. But she is now speaking about it. I was filming and editing three videos a week by myself and I really wanted help so I hired an editor. This person worked for me and was later promoted to my producer. She was like my right hand person for a salary of $72,000 a year. Jeez. She only worked for me for about six months and was let go. Now I'm being sued. She alleges that she was wrongfully terminated, overworked, and underpaid, all of which are untrue. He insisted his staff have always been very well taken care of and claimed that she's after hundreds of thousands of dollars. However, even though James Charles can afford to pay this ungodly settlement that she's after, he said that settling is no longer an option and that he wants to pursue the case to the fullest extent of the law. James also oddly ended the video saying that he understands that he'll need to deal with the court of public opinion, but then in the meantime, 
time he'll wait patiently to come back when the time is right. Didn't he just admit to a crime on camera? Who said take some time off and come back later? Either way, we want to know what you guys think about these news stories that we've gone through today. Don't forget to drop us a comment down below with your thoughts. And while you do that, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled, Instagram Influencer Becomes Queen of Italy After This. Becca F says, as an English woman, I see our royal family as nothing but a tourist attraction. Our laws and decisions are mostly made by parliament and the prime minister as they should be. Anna says, as an Italian, we don't have a queen or a king anymore. It was abolished. The family still exists, but they aren't royals. Thank goodness. Because I could imagine what an influencer queen would do if she didn't get enough likes on a post that day. Just invades a country <laughs> to boost her ego. I don't know. Hannah King says, always something interesting in the news. There always is, isn't there? And hopefully that was a nicer story though. Honestly, some influencer just becoming queen, quote unquote better story than what's usually in the news. Loud says, El Mayo, it's just really rich people calling themselves kings and queens. Facts, facts. They have absolutely no power. They're just like, we're related to somebody who used to be that. No power. You're, you'll be fine, Italy. Hatter Matter says, this is like an Italian Kardashian family. <laughs> Basically, I I'm foreseeing E running a new reality show of like the Italian queen or uh, you know what, leave me a comment down below of what you think a reality TV show would be for this family of Italian kings and queens that don't act actually have power. I would love to hear your uh, titles that you come up with. But for now, that has been today's video, guys. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube.